Can we have Dr. Bipudi Kashyap? Very good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm Dr. Vibhuti Kashyap. I'll be presenting my study on swept source OCT and OCT angiography features of pleural lost tumor with or without neovascularization. I have no financial disclosures to make. So, uh, osteomas are benign ossifying tumors which are prevalent in young females uh, are found to be associated with pregnancy, uh, pseudotumor, and histocytosis. And these can get complicated with RP atrophy and cradle neovascular membrane. So the, uh, there was no large-scale study on the swept source OCT features of uh, choroidal osteomas, uh, as uh, the swept source can help delineate the altered choroidal architecture by the tumor. Also, the conventional fluorescent angiography can give flawed results of outlining C and VM due to the inherent hyperfluorescence of the tumor itself. So we included patients with presence of an orange-yellow or yellowish-white slightly elevated subretinal lesion, which was peripathy or macular, uh, with pseudo-optic nerve head appearance in ultrasound. Uh, all these eyes were treatment naive. Uh, we excluded patients under 18 years of age with poor fixation and also patients who were not treatment naive. So we examined the vision and we did the slit lamp examination, 90D swept source, uh, fundus picture, fundus autofluorescence, and angiography, uh, OCT angiography of these patients at day one, one month, three months, and one year. All these cases were examined with uh, swept, so uh, swept source OCT of uh, uh, top count, uh, and uh, the analysis was done of the retinal architecture, choroidal architecture, and the tumor architecture tumor characteristics and choroidal neovascular membrane. Uh, so there were 11 patients with 16 eyes, seven were females and five patients had bilateral involvement, mean age was 26 years. Uh, four, uh, four eyes had small lesions, three were medium and nine large. All small and medium uh, lesions were macular and large lesions were all peripapyrin location. The areas of deossification seen as yellowish whitish discoloration were present in all medium and large lesions. Uh, and most of these had more than 50% of its area deossified. Uh, on swept source, inner, inner integrity of the retina was maintained in eight cases, uh, outer retinal integrity was maintained in three out of 16 cases, and choroidal changes were present in all the cases, which were uh, presence of a tumor in all, uh, increased signal transmission to the choroid 11, uh, neovascular membrane in six, uh, tumor not spanning the whole depth of choroid in, in 13, and tumor uh, surface being irregular 11 or convex. Uh, the refractivity patterns were, uh, the most common was the lamellar pattern, which was uh, uh, a line of uh, granular hyper 